What's going on, everybody? Thanks for joining me for another one of Hockey's Beer Reviews. And today we're finally getting to a beer that's been in my cabinet for about the last six weeks. This is from the Lagunitas Brewery in California. You guys know I love their stuff. I've reviewed a bunch of their beers on the website and on YouTube. This one in particular is their Wilco Tango Fox Trot. Uh, and before I even get to the rest of what it says here and what this beer is about, this is the WTF beer. And for y'all who live under a rock, WTF of course means what the fuck. Um, the actual original military shorthand for what the fuck is Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. This is called Wilco Tango Foxtrot because the ATF, or whatever alphabet soup agency that uh, controls these things, um, they wouldn't let La Lomitas put out a beer that said whiskey on the label because, you know, I know Americans are really stupid, but I don't think they're stupid enough to mistake a beer for a whiskey just because it says whiskey on the label. But whatever. Um, so they couldn't call it whiskey, so they called it Wilco, and that's that. This is what they call a multi-robust jobless recovery ale. Uh, and smaller print it says, we're not quite in the red or in the black. Does that mean we're in the brown? Um, they put out, these are the limited release beers that La Lunitas puts out, and they've had a series of them. They had the 2009 Correction Ale, and they had another one that I don't recall the name of, but they all kind of, they're all kind of topical names having to do with, you know, stuff in the news and the economy. Um, there's a whole big paragraph here, which I'm not going to read, but, um, yeah. So, let's see, yeah, no, it mentions uh, Lehman Brothers and the Superdome and uh, Afghanistan and uh, World Trade Center 7 and just a bunch of stuff. And so they call it an oxymoronic name, the jobless recovery of 2010. Again, La Lunitas is a quirky brewery, and I give them points for that. I also really like their beer, so I saw this, I picked it up, and off we go. Now, um, on the bottle it tells you alcohol 7.83% by volume. It doesn't really say on the bottle what kind of beer this is, specifically. So just punching up Beer Advocate. Um, on Beer Advocate, this beer receives a B plus, averaged out of 277 reviews, which is pretty good. Um, from La Lunitas Brewery, uh, Brewing Company in California. Now, Beer Advocate categorizes this as an American strong ale. Um, on the bottom in quotations it says Imperial Brown Ale. Imperial Brown is not really a, a, an official beer category, so they couldn't call it that, but I guess that's what La Lunitas consider this, an Imperial Brown, which of course kind of goes with the multi robust stuff they're saying on there. So we shall see. So, like always, for the Lemon Wheat Dust Bombers, break out the big ass mug and let's have us some jobless recovery ale. And uh, for anybody out there who's curious, you can check out the cap right there. It has a little uh, Lemon Wheat Dust's mascot, a little dog on there. I'm not going to keep it because I've got a bunch of these already. I've had a lot of good beers. But let's. Ooh, a little smoke bubbling. Oh, that was nice. Mm, and it does smell malty. Yeah, it's been an ugly rainy week up here, so a nice dark, rich, robust ale comes right. Well, it's, it's it's really fitting right about now. There you go. I wonder if their idea with this was for the beer to make the person drinking it go, what the fuck? since they called it Whiskey Tango Box Trap. I don't know. Anyways, uh, it is the color of a brown ale. It's dark, but I can see through it, although barely. It is clear. That's kind of a brown color, more brown than red. Um, there's light getting through, man, but it's coming through a, like a brownish, reddish color, very dark, ruby, copperish kind of thing. Yeah, again, brown ale-ish, very brown ale-like. The head is a kind of a dark off-white, almost khaki. Nice and frothy. Mmm, not a caramel mall. Toasted mall. And there is a nice bit of citrus hops in the nose. It's underneath, it's subtle, but it's unmistakable. Of course, this is a West Coast beer. You're going to get West Coast hops. 
I mean, it smells refreshing. I mean, it smells good. I wouldn't call this kind of beer refreshing. It smells inviting, though. Welcoming. Tasty. So, let's try it. I knew it was going to be hoppy. First thing I noticed, first thing that hit me, was the hops. Resiny, bitterness, not overpowering, not super strong, but unmistakable. Mm. On that second sip, the hops were even stronger. Very citrusy, um, orange. I'm getting some orange zest. I'm getting really a, a resinous hop on. Um, I don't want to say texture, but you get my point. It's really resinous. It's really oily. It's really bitter. Comes out at the front. Comes out in the back. Across the middle. And all things considered, this is about a medium body. It's not that heavy. Maybe leaning a little towards heavy, but it's sitting at medium. You know what I mean? Um, but you're getting toasted malts. You're getting that caramel and that toasted malt flavor and characteristics coming right through, right after the hop and kind of along with it. I mean, it's, it's tasty. And let me tell you, for me that's 7.83%, uh, the alcohol is almost unnoticeable. I mean, if you really look for it, you'll kind of notice it there, but it's, it's, it's very well hidden. It's a very well done beer. It's very well balanced. Because you get a little bit of kind of a, a smoky character to the malts, a little bit of a stringency from, from the bitterness. I don't know if it's roasted malt or toasted malt. It's blended with the caramel. It's blended with the hop. It's very well balanced, very well made. And, uh, you know, for almost 8%, this beer is kind of easy to drink. I could easily, I'm not going to, but I could easily go through this mug really quick. It's, again, it's not that heavy. It's very tasty. It's very well balanced. It's another good beer from La Bonitas. Now, it's good, but my socks are still on. It's not amazing. It's not going to blow you away. Therefore, I can't give it a glass full. It's not spectacular, but it is solid. So this is a strong glass half full. This is a good beer. Another good brew from La Bonitas. They, I always mean to get around to their Pilsner. We have a Czech style Pilsner and an IPA, two styles I really like and I have not gotten around to. I always end up getting their bombers or special releases and never their regular stuff. But so far, out of everything I've tried from them, the only one I didn't like was the Cappuccino style. Everything else was good. So, La Lumitas strikes again with another quirky beer that's really tasty. It's very well balanced and lighter than you may think. Um, if you like richer, maltier beers, and actually before I even, they want to call this an imperial brown, it's, sure, you can call it that, but it's tame as far as imperials go. You know, especially American brewers, uh, breweries, when they give you an imperial anything, it's hopped up the ass, it's really malty, and this, although malty, and although hoppy and strong with a good ABV, it's not that imperial. It's not that big. Um, again, I could down this real quick and, and be a happy guy afterwards. So I'll leave it at that. An imperial brown ale that's really good, but not that imperial. Glass half full. I'm going to drink this and go online and uh, got some things to do. Working on a new design for my, hundredth, uh, for my hundredth review. So stay tuned, guys. Check it out. Remember, I'm on Twitter. Twitter.com slash hoggiesbeer. Beerbreath.com is the blog site. Check all that out. Stay tuned. There's more coming. Cheers.